Ireland is dragging its feet on the implementation of EU data rules because of the catastrophic impact any loss of big tech firms currently based in Dublin, a UK-based tax consultant has said. Bob Lydon was commenting on a new investigation published last week by the Irish Council for Civil Liberties, ICCL. This suggested Ireland, led by Taoiseach Michael Martin, with former leader Leo Varadkar as his tarnished or deputy, was failing to apply wide-ranging EU privacy laws to US-based tech firms such as Google and Facebook, which have their European headquarters in Dublin. Because most of the American tech giants have the European HQ in Ireland, the onus on investigating many of the complaints under GDPR had fallen on the Irish Data Protection Commission, DPC, and Commissioner Helen Dixon. However, the ICCL's report suggested 98% of 164 significant complaints about privacy abuses are currently unresolved by the country's Data Protection Commission, DPC. Spain, despite a much smaller budget than Ireland, produces ten times as many draft decisions, ICCL pointed out. Johnny Ryan, a senior fellow at ICCL, said Ireland was at the worst bottleneck when it came to enforcement of the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, governing data protection and privacy in the European Union and the European Economic Area. Mr. Lydon, the founder of Lydon Consulting Services Limited, told Express.co.uk, Ireland's soft peddling on GDPR enforcement for its large big tech community is hardly surprising. If the tax benefits of Irish incorporation threatened to be eroded by the recent G7 agreement on a minimum global rate of corporation tax. There are plenty of other areas in which the Irish authorities can add value for the big tech clients. Mr. Lydon said roughly 30% of the Irish economy and an even larger proportion of professional services and high salary jobs derived from foreign companies which operate there under the heading of Foreign Direct Investment, or FDI. He added, Ireland's value proposition always included taxation and also secrecy, private companies and limited liability partnerships. The favoured formats used by FDI clients face much minimal disclosure requirements in Ireland. Why not add non-enforcement of GDPR? Any erosion of this sector would have a catastrophic impact on the Irish economy. So a measure of hypocrisy is to be expected in setting up a GDPR enforcement capability on the one hand, for public consumption and to impress the European partners. And then ensuring that cases against FDI clients remain in the in-trade. 